Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So we're going to add one more functionality into our NFT marketplace. So if anybody wants to put their NFT for an auctions in our empty marketplace, so they can do that. Okay. So that's the smart contract we're going to write in this video. I have opened the project. Make sure to do that. And on the right hand side, you can see we have all the folder file structure, all the hard work we have done so far. Okay. So let's come back to the contract. And inside the contract, we have created this two contract. So NFT marketplace and we have the transfer fund contract. So if you click on this NFT marketplace, so these are the huge contract we have written for our NFT marketplace. So we'll simply copy this license identifier and the Pragma Solidity version. And this is the transfer fund contract we have written. Let's create a new file uh, for the bidding. Okay. So we'll say bidding contract dot soul. And this we have to simply paste the license identifier and the solid pragma and we're going to create an interface okay so here i'm not going to create the entire erc like 7021 okay token because we need only one function to transfer the nft from one account to another okay so we're going to create an interface for that very simple interface so i'll say interface and here i'm going to give the name of the contract ierc 721 and here i have to create one more function which is called transfer form it will take couple of data from to and will take the nft id okay so these are the three data we have to pass into this function if certain condition meant okay so just follow along with me and it's going to be external so anybody can call it so let's come here let's create a contract we'll say nft auction and that we have to take a couple of variables so unt 256 private const and duration okay so i want to provide this auction for a fixed time it's totally up to you that you want to have a for a month or a for a year seven days and now we have to take this interface public immutable nft create the another one public immutable nft id address payable public mutable seller and we have to take this unt public immutable start starting price okay hope these things are very simple okay very simple now let's come here we have to take another one public immutable this is the discount we want to provide unt public immutable the start date we want to provide public immutable and the expiry date okay when the this auction will over so these are the state variable we have taken and we are getting this error we're gonna fix this not a big deal let's come here let's create a constructor and in that we have to pass a couple of data so we have to pass the unt start price we have to pass the discount on which we want to sell the nft nft and we have to provide the nft but you have noticed one thing that in this contract we are passing hard code data we are specifying one particular nft and can you guess why we are doing because every nft marketplace will have its high selling nft and that nft i want to put on sale okay so when i will deploy this contract i will provide that specific nft which belong to this nft marketplace that's only for the sale not for the user not for the other user who can come and create and put their nft as a as a auction okay this is for my the owner of the marketplace okay so that's why i'm building the simple contract you can make it more robust okay and that's definitely we're going to add it okay but i just want to have this functionality into our nft marketplace so that's why i'm going with this approach so i will have this two bidding contract one for the nft marketplace the other one is for the everyone who can come and start bidding and put their nft for sale okay so let's build this contract first and we have to simply update the data so we'll say seller payable message dot sender we'll say starting price is going to be the starting price we have to provide the discount rates to discount raised and we have to say start time is going to be block timestamp expiry we have to add seven duration okay and that's what we're going to add it up here and here we have to simply check for a condition so starting price should be greater or equal to the discount price okay and here we are getting this error message again okay? discount price simply come here and remove this immutable remove this and you can see no more error we get okay so that's the check we are doing and simply come here plus duration okay and here we can say starting price is too low 
and here we have to simply update the nft to erc71 nft and we have to update the nft token id sorry so that's the simple check we are doing simply remove the extra brackets game and things are looking good so that's the constructor we have built and that we are passing all this data now we have to create a function to get the price of this nft okay unt and we can simply say unt 256 time lapse and we have to get the time and we have to simply subtract this to this start at okay so we get the time and now we have to simply take that another unt discount will say multiply with the timestamp and then we have to simply return the price with minus discount okay so this will give the exact price of the nft and based on the time okay so this price is never fixed it will always change based on the time so this is the price now let's create another function we'll say buy external payable we have to check for a condition so when someone try to buy we have to check for the timestamp whether it's expired or not if it gets expired we have to throw the error message this nft bedding has ended now we have to check for another unt so we'll say price we have to get the price check for a condition message dot value is equal or get it to the price if it's not then we have to throw the error message amount of each cent is less than the price okay I'm getting this extra bracket Y, so let me remove this. So that's the check we have. Now we have to simply call the transfer method, okay? So we have to transfer the NFT from the seller to the messenger sender, the person who calling the function, okay? And we have to pass this ID as well. Now let's come here. We have to simply call this one, refund, message.value, minus price. And we have to check for a condition. If refund is greater than zero, then we have to simply call payable message.sender transfer and we have to simply call refund because we have to send the money back and we have to use this self destruct okay and in that we have to pass the seller so when someone will buy this nft what will happen that will transferring all the funds to the seller account okay so that's why we are using this self destruct so hope this makes sense to all of you guys and again i'm telling you that this nft smart contract is only for the nft marketplace owner not for the user you can create for the user and we definitely going to add that functionality but we are taking one step at a time so i'm just creating this smart contract for the owner of the marketplace who going to list one specific nft for a sale okay so this is the entire smart contract we have written for that you can see it looks pretty good so it's all the buying functionality we are calling the transform refund and self-destruct and that's the very simple bidding smart contract we have built for our nft marketplace okay we're going to add a lot of functionality into our nft marketplace okay so we have to build a lot of smart contract okay so we'll take one step at a time right now we have included this functionality in the next video we're going to add a function which allow other user of the nft marketplace to add their nft for a bidding okay so that's the next smart contract we're going to build in the next video